good day to all our peers and welcome to our edition of the program Talk to the Leader. And for today's edition, I hope you have the Minister of Education and Academic Affairs, the University of Makina, Saxon Government. And you can also get me live and clear on the YouTube channel, Yusuf Online TV. Then you go to TikTok, Yusuf. Then you go to Instagram, Yusuf the Wise Thinker. Go to Facebook page, Shop for Yusuf the Wise Thinker. You can also get in there like and clear. For today's edition, I will be having our outstanding minister. As last year, I was interviewing him here based on the Africa Summit for 2021. He have done extremely well. For this segment, I uh, would like to welcome the ministers. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Yusuf. Thank you very much for having me. Hello, girls and listeners out there. Um, Oh, I think uh, we need to understand that um, tomorrow is another day after and a very important day at the University of McKinney. We have been a public lecture. As a minister, some of us want to know what this program meant. Um, well, yes, you are correct that the University of McKinney, the students of the University of McKinney, the University of Education, the Minister of Education, the Minister of Education, and um, the Office of the Education of the will be coming up with a public lecture and um, a student engagement. Also, the launching of the university club is actually the two events in one. First of all, the main event is the, um, the public lecture. This is the first public lecture in this administration and within this academy. Yeah. The public lecture is centered around um, the topic that the, the role of students is promoting human rights and development. And we shall also be having a one-on-one -on -one engagement with our college students prior to the first coming final examination. We want to see our parents to create the platform for our college students to raise their concerns, to speak out their mind, to challenge if they are having before we go for these exams. And God's so good, we had the consent of the administrators who will be here to face this situation. They will be listening to the cries of our college students to see our parents to go back to the drawing board. If not for this academic year, but for the next academic year, to ensure that these challenges are well addressed. Moving on, uh -huh. moving on. We shall also be having the launching of the Junior Mark of the Games Club. We all know that um, annually we host the interdepartmental debates. Uh, we are in between people with the act of public speaking, persuasive arguments, and the other to be dialogue. So, this particular country made to train the data, not only the data, but public speaking, they are best to create the culture of music realization of public speaking dialogue. So these are the three events that will be hosted tomorrow at the University of Mackey. So why you guys de decided to host three events at the same time? Well, they are three independent events that we are, host we are hosting together. Um, two of which is coming directly from the SIC, that is the, 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 the meeting, and then the public lecture. One of which is coming from an affiliate body of the University of Massachusetts. Now, the reason why we decided to have this three events is that we, we are time conscious. We are very, very mindful of the fact that exams are coming. And having our college students for three different events, three different um, venues, or three different days, but also eat up to their time for their studies. I will not invite you for a, a public lecture today. And then after two days, invite you again for a meeting. And then after two days, invite you again for another launching. So why not have this three events just a single day and then uh, minimize the cost in time for our colleagues today, even the cost in them paying their transportation to come to campus to live again to be limited. Even to us as a government, we are constrained to financing. So if we say we are we organizing three different events, three different days, I think it will cost us a lot. So having a fact that um, we need to be mindful of time, we also need to be mindful of the fact that organizing three different events at three different times will have to cost us a lot. So we, we thought it fit to do these three events together just a single day. How do you think this event will be able to impact the life of the students of the University of Education? Oh, very much. It will impact them very, very much. Starting off with the, um, the public lecture, we shall be hosting the chairperson for the Human Rights Commission. She has promised to um, um, transfer a wide experience in terms of human rights. Now, we already know human rights, these are inalienable rights. These are natural, these are god given rights which each and every human being must enjoy. Be you a student, be you a farmer, and for you are a human being, and for you to within a political community, you're entitled to this right. But let's 
How many of them are opportune to have a constitution to go to identify their various human rights? So the essence of this public lecture is to see how much we sensitize, we sensitize and we educate our colleagues about human rights, what are their human rights, and how they can use their human rights for development. It's not about you knowing your rights, you know you have the right to life, you have the freedom of movement. How can you utilize this rights that you have for towards the development of our country? We also want to send out a message that to every right, there is a responsibility. Yes, it's your right to move. Yes, it's your right to move. To move. But you have a responsibility attached to this right. So how many of our policemen are we of this have responsibility attached? So this is the essence of the public lecture. Now, how can the, 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 the engagement impact the lives of our colleagues students? Of course, colleagues students have been seen in the students council as an advocacy body, as a channel to which their complaints can reach their jurisdiction. And over the years, as the minister, uh, over the months, sorry, as the minister of education and academic affairs, I've seen our best of trying to write a series of position papers to the students, the dean of academic affairs and the dean of student affairs, and they have also been giving us responses. But when we bring these responses for, to the student body, they see it as, it's, as if it's coming from us directly. So now, when they are directly from the administrators themselves, then yes, they might take it for granted. So that is how it's going to impact. Now to the launching of the university. Go to the university. There is the, ta the chapter of the Sierra Leone Council. I wonder if it is because um, Unimark is a private institution. We do not have a branch of the Sierra Leone Debate Council. So, as a private university, we are going to hold our own debating council of on our own. And I believe it will be the first university for a private university to hold in Sierra Leone for, for a private university to hold its own debating council. Uh, um, Mr. Minister, I don't want to take you long because time is not our best friend, it's not be our best friend. As well as the issues, time issues are time of you're talking about the exam, that is the second semester will come in, that will take place on the of this month. And you're talking about the launching of the society in Council of Vienna. You know, what not this is a private institution or private university. So how best you guys as a government able to bring phone so that you're able to be a whole council uh, for, the, for, the, for the debating society. But the last day you launched a very nice one for the SIC government on Bashiru Kuruma. So I don't know how best you have this initiative and you guys will have the phone to build up a debating council. So, um, like I said, the initiative of building the Unimar Debating Council or the Unimar Debating Council will be an affiliate to the, 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 the Ministry of Education, SIC, to the SIC. And to the the SIC will not directly be funding the Unimar Debating Council. The Unimark Debate Council will have its own executive. It's a body on its own. So that body will have to seek fund for itself. As I said before, the SIC on its own is, con is considered financially. We have a host of projects coming up between the end of this semester and the first coming academic year. So we are not going to directly fund or seek fund for the Unimark Debate Association or the Unimark Debate Council. The Unimark Debate Council is a council on its own, just that we are regulating its activity. But when it comes to generation of finance, the Unimark Debate Council has an executive, will have a standing executive that is going to source finance for itself. Don't you think that the SRC represents you going to have more time because time is not our favor. You guys have to leave offices anytime. We have many, many plans to do. Yes, um, as a government, um, I'm representing the government, even though I'm not a minister of information. Okay. Sure. But I believe um, it's a government practice that whatever question a cabinet member is asking me to get spawned I'm part of the government and I know things that are happening in the government. And we are well aware of the fact of the time. When we came into governance, we are well prepared that we have limited time to execute all our, our promises that we are made by our, our president, H. D. Koma, in the Muslim Together Manifesto. That is why I said now, I will proudly say 80% of those promises that we have made in the moment to get a manifesto have been achieved. Starting off with the interdepartmental league, interdepartmental football league, the interdepartmental debate competition, the construction of the Unimark um, um, Institute of Digital Commerce, we should sort fund and the project will start anytime soon. The establishment of the student court, the very first time the University of Makeru has a student court, and a host of other things which I cannot list now. The only big event that we are hosting that, 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 that is left for us to start the government is the Mr. and Ms. Unimark and our organization. That is going to be the 
grand closure of our administration. And I tell you, that is going to be the biggest in the history of All right, uh, uh, Mr. Minister of uh, Education and Academic Affairs, and I don't want you to talk about that, um, Ms. Jean Mark, because that's another outstanding program that you shall bring it up to having one of the main information or the person being in charge of it. That's all. Um, he is the Minister of Education and Academic Affairs of the University of Mikin, SIC. You are watching me live on YouTube Online TV channel. And don't forget to also subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to put down your comment. And join me also on the Facebook page, YouTube The Wise Thinker Facebook page. You can able to see me there. Join me also on YouTube The Wise Thinker Instagram. Immediately this program will be there. Thanks so much for having me. Tune again to YouTube The Wise Thinker Facebook page.